This is a step-by-step -step video on how to draw blood safely and effectively. First step is to select the appropriate color tube. The most commonly used colors are yellow, light blue, red, green, lavender, and gray. It is important to follow the order of draw to prevent contamination. After properly identifying the patient by checking the requisition form, wash your hands and don personal protective equipment such as gloves and a gown. The third step is to gather your supplies. This will include gauze pads, alcohol swabs, band-aids, collection tubes, a tourniquet, and the needle. The three main veins used in phlebotomy are the median cubital, cephalic, and basilic veins. The most preferred vein is the median cubital because it is large and well anchored. The cephalic vein is a vein of choice for obese patients. Lastly, the basilic is the least preferred vein due to its close proximity to the brachial artery. The next step is to clean the venipuncture site in a circular motion from the center to the periphery. Then, tie the tourniquet. The tourniquet should be placed 3-4 to four inches above the site and should be left on for no longer than 1 minute. Carefully uncap the needle and inspect it for any flaws or burrs that could hurt the patient. Stabilize the vein by holding the skin near the puncture site top. Do not touch the site that was cleaned and insert the needle at a 15 to 30 degree angle with the bevel side facing up. Insert the collection tube into the tube holder and then release the tourniquet. Wait for the tube to fill up an appropriate amount. Remove the tube from the tube holder. Invert the tubes after they are filled. This prevents the blood from clotting and ensures accurate test results. Remove the needle at the same angle that it was inserted. Place the gauze pad over the needle and apply firm pressure once the needle has been removed. Place an adhesive bandage over the gauze and instruct the patient to leave it on for 15 minutes. Discard of the needle in a sharps container after the procedure is complete. Label the specimen and centrifuge or store it as necessary. Finally, if a patient feels faint, make sure the needle has been removed. Have the patient place their head between their legs in a seated position and stay with the patient until it is safe for them to leave. Thank you for watching and good luck.